the most realistic online racing sim ever made. This is iRacing. Detailed laser scan tracks, fully dynamic real world cars, and over 50 series to choose from. Six online world championships offering over $100,000 in annual prizes. This is the original eSport racing game. This is iRacing. Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Turn 3 Racing Network, as tonight we are here at the world-famous North Wilkesboro. Oh, my goodness, I really messed that one up. North Wilkesboro Speedway for Championship Night here tonight for the Coffee Cup Racing Nitro Series. Two drivers are going to have it out tonight, Ryan Nolan, Todd Sargent sitting atop of the leaderboard right now but aj hamill and al smith within striking distance if anything happens to those two thank you very much for joining us here tonight my name is kr solfus and i am here with the illustrious the wordsmith the man of the hour chris legue chris how you doing tonight i'm doing really well kr thanks a lot for having me here one last time for the uh, coffee cup nitro series featuring tonight the coach's corner breakfast blend 150 here at north wilkesboro and uh, kr obviously it was my fault that you weren't able to say that correctly the first time through i i'm going to have to blame you as the uh boss of turn three racing network i only work for you so every mistake i make is uh clearly and solidly put <laughs> on your shoulders no, all of, all, all of that joking aside, guys. Hey, we are super excited to be here tonight for this championship race. Ryan Nolan, Todd Sargent, four points separate each driver from the top of the leaderboard. And Chris, both drivers know what is on the line. But man, I'll tell you what, this top drivers here tonight everyone is so close on points throughout this entire field drivers know what's on the line how close do you think this is going to be here tonight well look um i happened to spend a little time on this track last night in a different car i'll give you that but the track kind of drives the same no matter what you have to be extremely careful here kr this track number one not self-cleaning if you get into an accident uh Better watch out behind you because somebody's probably going to get into you. Number two, the elevation change on the front stretch and on the back stretch might get somebody a little confused here if they forget what corner they're in. And KR, anything can happen here. Absolutely anything. You're talking top four drivers within 15 points of each other here tonight. Oh, man, this championship battle is really uh, one I've been looking forward to. I know, uh, Chris, you did a few broadcasts with this league before I came on board, but these last four races that I have been a part of have truly been something special, and I'm looking forward to this one. But, uh, Chris, what do you say we pull in the guy that has made all of this happen here tonight? That is none other than AJ Hamill. This is his league. This is his night to shine as a league owner. And AJ, not only are you a league owner, but you're sitting 14 points out of maybe walking away with the championship. Tell us a little bit about what tonight means to you. Yes, I will do that. Uh, I got to jump on something first real quick. 
something a little more serious. You may have noticed the last couple weeks we have not had our, our good friend Rex Hoyle on track um, Monday night in the decaf series or here in the Nitro series. And that is not because, Chris, um, that I got contact with him at, at the Bullring. Uh, it is actually because he's recovering from COVID-19. And uh, I did talk to her. I messaged him a couple times. And yesterday, he says he's he's recovering well. He's uh, He didn't have to call a hospital or anything. But um, for those who don't know, Rex is one of our older drivers as well, kind of high risk. Uh, so it's great to hear that he is recovering. Uh, we're all wishing you well, Rex, and we hope to see you. Hope you're strong enough to be with us on Monday. Yeah, not to interrupt, AJ, but that's huge to hear, man. Rex Hoyle, one of those classy, classy drivers. Now, AJ, speaking of Rex, uh, I have had the pleasure, and when I say pleasure, I mean that from the bottom of my heart, of calling races with Rex involved in, and Rex finds a way to get in the top five somehow, some way. That man is... Uh, I, I want to say when he commits to a league, he is one of the best people you can have in a league. Always tries to do his best, puts his best foot forward. And, you know, when I say that, I mention it because when someone like that comes into a league, you can only imagine how big his character is in real life. Absolutely. And that was uh, one thing I was going to close the Rex for my part of it with is, uh, how proud we are to have him in our coffee cup series and uh, just just glad that that he calls us home for his mondays and wednesday night racing well aj classiest we cleanest guy out there absolutely rex is completely one of those complete packages someone you'd love to have in your league and we do hope rex makes a full recovery and uh gets back out on track for all the leagues that he loves to be a part of but uh tonight aj without rex uh we have a championship night we have all this on the line what do you have in store for us here tonight we do indeed uh, i got my notes here so i'll get i'll get you there too i wanted to thank um thank all the drivers for coming out making this a great season uh, this is a collection of drivers and friends that, that I've made for the last five years. Um, and, and some of them I just met through this season through, they were friends of, of uh, Chris or, or other guys in the league. And uh, it means a lot to me that they liked what I was trying to do here, or maybe they were bored on Wednesday, but they came out and uh, they bought into our philosophy. And it's, uh, it's because of them that it's been such a great season. I'm gonna miss it. We will be back, but I'll get to that in a sec. Uh, every every driver here, you can trace back to the Upstate Racing League and my participation uh, with Al Smith. So I want to throw Al a thank you, even though he doesn't think he needs it. Uh, when I joined there five years ago, came fast friends with Al. I can play six degrees of separation every car here uh, back to Al, whether it goes through RFC uh, and Chris and you guys. It's all connected, and uh, this is impossible if I didn't answer an ad. The Upstate Racing League five years ago run by our buddy Al, who I'm competing with tonight. The third. Uh, let's see, we're running short on time. Let me skip some of this. Couple quick stats on the league. 43 guys made at least one start. Uh, 11 have the max nine starts at this point coming into the final event. 18 have eight, so that's pretty cool. You know, like any league, you get a little drop off, but uh, it's good to have our core set of drivers. Great to see. As I said, everybody bought, it, bought into our culture. We only had one guy who didn't and uh, he left, so that's pretty cool. Well, AJ, how about we take a moment to talk to our top two championship contenders, and that is none other than Ryan Nolan and Todd Sargent. And AJ, how about you take the floor and, and talk to these two guys? Oh, well, I didn't have that in my notes, but sure. Um, hmm. You caught me unprepared. Well, guys, um, <laughs> we can do it if you want, AJ. No, no, I'm good. Uh, I'm glad it's one of you two. I mean, certainly a lot of guys would be glad to have, but um, you guys have put together great seasons. You're always aggressive but clean. You know, you guys are you're putting your cars where they need to go, but you're not just cleaning guys out, which is uh, what we ask for here. And either one of you deserves it. I hope it happens on track and, and there's no storms rolling through uh, Alabama tonight or Kentucky. 
and uh, it plays out all the way to the green flag with both of you on the lead lap. Uh, good luck to you both. But you know, if you both wadded up early, Al and I, uh, we, we, uh, you know, it's not how we'd want to win it, but we wouldn't complain. So, so Ryan, you come into the night with the points championship. Uh, what is your plan for tonight here and trying to keep Todd Sargent behind you? Well, I think I think the biggest thing is just to stay out of trouble. That's that's really my main goal, and is just be there at the end. Um, I think we can do that. We'll have a good shot. Um, so I want to thank AJ. He's uh, put a put together a good series here. It's been a lot of fun. Uh, a lot of fast guys. A lot of good clean racing, and uh, it's something you don't always see on iRacing and in the hosted or in league. So uh, yeah, it's been a lot of fun racing with everyone. Um, I'm excited to, to race against Todd here and, and see who comes out in front. And hey, Todd, on, on the other side, sorry, Kay, I'm gonna take off because we've got a very limited amount of time, but Todd Sargent, you're coming in to tonight just four points behind, kind of the first time uh, in a long time that you haven't been the points leader. You know you have to catch Ryan and get in front of him. What are you looking to do tonight that might be a little different, like different strategy to try and get out in front and try and steal this one away? Yeah, you can probably notice I'm not, uh, not very quick at short tracks. This is a little bigger short track, so I feel a little bit quicker. But yeah, I'm not. Uh, didn't run all that well at the bull ring. Hope a little better luck happens tonight. Ryan's gonna be fast. Gonna be a tough challenge. All right, Kr. Well, Todd, Ryan, AJ, guys, we know you're getting ready to go off into qualifying, so we want to thank you all for taking a moment to talking to us and uh guys good luck tonight and uh do keep in mind aj and al aren't too far behind y'all yeah thank you and uh yeah they can definitely steal us a one this one away uh thank you guys for broadcasting um as my parents will be watching so they appreciate it all right that is ryan nolan todd Sargent. any closing remarks uh, thank you guys for coming on and Putting us on YouTube for everybody to watch. Family and friends get to get on here and watch. I get to go back myself and watch. Thank you for coming on. I think AJ for putting the league on. I've had a lot of fun racing these guys this season. Todd Sargent checking in for the final time here before he's crowned champion. And AJ, we're going to let you go. But before we do, man, final thoughts here before this race kicks off. Yeah, I'm just hoping we. Get some green flag laps and uh, it's a little slick out there. You guys got to not get caught up in racing too hard with each other. Race the track till the tires come up to speed. Um, and then once they wear, you know, beware of that. And I just want to thank you guys for jumping on here at the end and making it uh, even better for us. First half was fun, but the second half was better because we got to go back and watch it and have you guys talking about it on YouTube. Oh, one thing I didn't get to throw in, um, season two, We'll not come back till January because uh, a lot of us are going to be over racing for a cause with Mr. Chris Legue, I think, on Turn 3 Network with a super late model series on Wednesday nights. Yes, sir. Wouldn't miss it. Yeah, we'll see that in two weeks. And then uh, we'll be back here with the Nitro series when that thing ends. All right. That is AJ Hamill. And AJ, man, thank you for sticking around. We're going to let you get in your qualifying lap. Thanks, guys. All right, Chris. Yeah, I'm feeling so good, but I'm going to let him take two. Oh, you're going to let him take two? Oh, sure. Oh, very kind of you. So qualifying <laughs> is well and truly underway here. Championship night, a lot on the line. Right now, Brian Hacker has pulled with a 17.583. Ryan Nolan championship on the line, sitting in second place. Todd Sargent currently scored in sixth. And Chris... Man, I'll tell you what, you cannot count any of these drivers out of this one here tonight. You really can't, KR. And the other thing, too, that I find a little interesting, so Brian Hacker kind of comes out of nowhere, takes the pole. I haven't said his name since we started here on turn three uh, just a little bit before you came aboard and, and took over. But Brian Hacker out there with the pole. Now Bill Martin takes over second spot. That's going to hurt Ryan Nolan, and I'm going to tell you why. The outside on this racetrack is the preferred line on any start, on any drop of the green flag. So Bill Martin now finds himself in second place as that Ray Bestis, the posse 39 machine 
rolls around this speedway most of these drivers have set a qualifying time everyone better pay attention to this six by joe schaefer he's got uh, nothing to lose here tonight and he is a fast driver capable of winning wherever he shows up and right now that six machine of joe schaefer out on the speedway brian hacker currently holds the pole position bill martin second ryan nolan third but as joe schaefer comes across the line for his first lap he's going to be one and done and put himself in 13th spot okay all right i would want to look at that again but did it seem to you like maybe he turned right I think so. I think maybe he was just uh, content with that 13th place. But uh, 16 drivers so far have taken a qualifying time. So with that being said, guys, let's go ahead and step away for our national anthem. And we will be back with our Coffee Cup Championship Night Coaches Corner Breakfast Plan 150 starting lineup. We take you down out of the track for our opening ceremonies. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise. Please remove your hats. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in flag was still there oh say does that star spangled banner yet wave for the land of the free and the home Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, as the drivers have taken to the grid. That can only mean one thing. It is time to go through tonight's starting lineup on the inside of row. Number one is the 11 of Brian Hacker out of Illinois, setting a quick time with 17.583 on his outside. Representing the posse is the 39 of Bill Martin. Row number two will be championship contender. The 87 of Ryan Nolan on his outside will be the 88 of Matt McLean. Row number three will be Justin McDuff in the 20 and Andrew Hill in the 07. Row number four will be our other championship contender. It's the 42 of Todd Sargent out of the Alabama gang and on his outside the one the ever dangerous the ever so present one driver you have to pay attention to it's Stephen Page row number five will be AJ Hamill representing the Empire Racing Team in the 18 machine and on his outside from Smith Racing Incorporated it's the 96 of Al Smith Jr starting on the inside car number 95 highline racing zone charlie widener starting to his outside driving the number 46 one of three vermont drivers in the field here tonight it's at aaron maynard starting in the 13th position driving the number six the posse zone joe schaefer jr how about in 14th position, the number 91, IBAM Motorsports' Jerry Stone III. Brett Bartles starts 15th in his number two. And 
Andy Lambert starts to his outside 16th position is number eight. Chris Stump gonna start in ropes, uh, 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 in 17th spot is 98 for Chris Stump. Jason Fluffy Garrett gonna start his 57 and 18th spot. Bring up shotgun on the field tonight. KR is the 22 of Michael Spaw. So as we get ready to go racing here on championship night, Brian Hacker has control of the field as that green flag flies. Brian Hacker gets a good jump here. Bill Martin slots in behind him as the 11 and the 39 lead this field on the first lap right now. Brian Hacker, a driver who is one driver who can win in any car here in the iRacing service, has the race lead, but he better watch out for that 39 of Bill Martin. I've seen that 39 machine here tonight, and it looks like that 39 is a man on a mission. Back a little further. Okay, I'm looking at positions three and four coming into tonight in the point standings. A.J. Hamill, Al Smith Jr. They started side by side right now. A.J. Hamill holding on to the seventh spot. Al Smith Jr. being credited with ninth, now eighth position as he is working around the 42 of Todd Sargent. Todd Sargent came into second place here in the point standing, just four points behind Ryan Nolan. So he has a lot to get after as the first yellow flag comes out. And we have a caution flag here out on the speedway. Andy Lambert in the eight machine going to get in trouble here as the 57 of Jason Garrett gets into his back bumper. Lambert going to back into the wall a little bit. Looks like minor damage on the eight. And he is able to continue on. Yeah. Andy Lambert did not get the qualifying run that he wanted, was hoping to race his way towards the front. Didn't get a lot of love out of Fluffy Garrett as he went around and now has to start from the tail end of the field. Slight damage to the rear end, but not going to cause any real problems. So our first caution of the night coming out here very early here on this North Wilkesboro Speedway. And Brian Hacker continuing to lead. He had a good jump and now finds himself trying to catch his breath here and regroup. Most of this field, they all know that the championship battle is on the line and they know what it takes also to win a championship. But uh, Brian Hacker, I, I have the feeling that uh, he's, just, he's someone like uh, Bill Martin they don't care what happens behind them. They just want to win this one. Yeah, you know, there's two things that we could be going after here tonight. We could be going after a first time winner of the season or certainly since we've been going uh, with the Coffee Cup Nitro Series. But also we have a championship to crown. So we've got two different things that we're going to be going after here tonight. Do we see a first time winner or do we see one of those guys that are vying for the championship win tonight? KR, it's all up in the air very early on here, lap seven of 150. As we look at our race information here tonight, the weather could not be more perfect. Man, I'll tell you what, if I wasn't up here in this broadcast booth, I would rather be down on the speedway as the lights have gone out. Our coach's corner breakfast blend 150 championship night is about ready to go green to flag once again here on North Wilkesboro Speedway. Ryan Hacker on the inside for this restart. Bill Martin on his outside. It almost looks like a complete restart here is everyone almost in the same spots where they qualified. Yeah, and the DRLs are not working on the Silver Auto, but it doesn't matter as it pulls down on the pit road. Brian Hacker again with a shot out of the inside. He is the race leader going into turns one and two. Hacker dives down to that inside lane, holds off Bill Martin, Ryan Nolan slotting into third place. Matt McLean in fourth spot. Matt McLean just three points ahead of Stephen Page coming into this race. He knows he needs to get every point he can to keep Stephen Page behind him. We're talking a lot about the championship win here. But Matt McLean has something to prove as well as he tries to hold on to the top five end points and finish this season out. 
and behind them it's a two by two battle with the 18 and the 07 aj hamill to the inside taking a spot away from andrew hill as we go under caution yellow flag coming out as chris stump and the 57 of jason garrett get together once again and stump gonna collect that inside pit wall knocks off his front fender so the 57 machine and chris stump sort that out they get rolling but again another quick caution here and two times in a row fluffy garrett has kind of been involved this time heavy damage to the front end of the 98 of chris stump we're talking complete front clip missing off from the 98 ford so once again the chevy silverado the uh built like a rock truck not able to be failing as uh you still no drls listen it's a pace truck you don't need drls <laughs> But the pace truck once again out in front of the field. Brian Hacker, though, out in front. Bill Martin, second. Ryan Nolan, third. Matt McLean, fourth. Justin McDuff in the 20, holding on to a top five position right now. But Andrew Hill in the 07, right behind him in sixth spot. And Andrew Hill may be thinking about how he can get a good jump on this restart and steal a spot away from Justin McDuff. KR, this just in, uh, driver of the pace truck radioed up. Uh, apparently his door lock's not working due to a random fuse blowing. As a GM technician, I can tell you it didn't blow a fuse. The lock actuators were just weak because we borrowed them from Ford. Brian Hacker on the pole. <laughs> <laughs> Bill Martin in second spot and then you've got your points leader coming into the night third spot Ryan Nolan Matt McLean doing everything he can to stay inside of the top five Justin McDuff in the 20 quiet so far tonight working the inside row number three field stacking up two by two behind the Silverado we are going to take the green flag here with lap 16 of 150 everyone knows details side by side let's see if we can get a few laps in here without another incident but brian hacker so far has been the man to beat on these restarts bill martin gonna try and give him a good run for his money here but brian hacker says nope this one's mine and again kr i'm gonna say again that the outside lane really is where you want to be hacker is just getting such a good restart and he is launching himself bill martin is not able to contend off from the green flag but we do have a battle going on for third spot as matt mclean and ryan nolan battling it out behind them it's the 20 of just mcduff andrew hill in the 07 battling two by two by two as oh the 20 gets way way down low mcduff drops five spots just like that mcduff finds himself all the way into 10th place oh boy and again the yellow flag coming out and ryan nolan in the 87 the one who has brought this one out as he got loose coming off at of turn number four locked it down did not make contact with anything but that is going to cost the 87 a whole lot of track position. And KR, that's something we didn't talk about before the race started, and we saw it many times. And in fact, Ryan Nolan was having that very same issue coming out of turn four. You have to treat that pedal like there's an egg underneath. And I'm telling you, that egg is already half cracked before you start pushing down on it. Turn four, very very tricky you just saw it ryan nolan goes around solo spin no contact does so ryan nolan now has to gather it back in i can tell you as a driver being sent to the back of the field because of your own mistake not only now have you gotten inside your own head but now ryan nolan has a championship battle on the line he has got to work his way through this field without causing another issue because cautions may cost him time 
to catch up to Todd Sargent, who finds himself in 10th spot. Yeah, all of a sudden, 10th spot, not so bad for Todd Sargent. All he has to do, KR, is be five spots ahead of Ryan Nolan tonight. And right now, he is there. about the battle for third and fourth in points though aj hamill right now in the top five running fifth spot behind him it's al smith jr running in six those guys only one point separating each coming into tonight for third spot yeah a lot on the line throughout this entire field for this points battle i cannot recall the last time i have seen something this close as a broadcaster throughout this entire field and everyone trying to get every point they can. But you know what? That championship battle, Ryan Nolan, let's not count him out just yet. He still has plenty of time to work his way through the field. But what this does is it gives Todd Sargent an opportunity to maybe not be so pressured to work his way to the front and maybe take his time a little bit and be more cautious to get to the front. Well, that's just it. Sergeant now kind of has uh, the ability to relax, as you were saying, KR. And he's need he needs to take advantage of it. Meanwhile, Ryan Nolan knows he's got to get to the front, but a long way to go. Base car down, and Brian Hacker once again finds that loud pedal before anybody else. But watch out, because here comes the 07 of Andrew Hill on the outside of Matt McLean in the 88. Andrew Hill makes that outside lane work. Andrew Hill finding himself now in third spot. The 88 of McLean maybe going to settle for fourth here, but not sure he's too happy about fourth place as he takes a peek to the outside of the 07. Hill now trying to set his sights on the 39, but under heavy pressure from the 88. But Al Smith has made his way around the 18 of A.J. Hamill, but Hamill looking to the inside of the 96. It's two by two racing, and this is a points implicator for tonight as Al Smith Jr. really gets a nice run coming off the corner, gets a little loose heading up into turns three and four. Big wiggle by Al Smith, gonna cost him maybe two spots here, but more importantly, A.J. Hamill has found a way in front of him as Joe Schaefer, who qualified in 10th spot, now finds himself in sixth. I'm sorry, I said 10th, I meant 13th. Meanwhile, Mike Holtz caught having a little bit of issue, but comes back out on track. He is okay, he is running. And here comes Bill Martin. Martin puts the inside move on to Brian Hacker. Bill Martin for the race lead coming out of turns three and four. Side by side goes into the wall. Bill Martin loses it off a of turn number four and the caution flag flies once again. Jason Garrett also getting into that one. Let's take another look at this one as Bill Martin got loose coming off a of four. But then Jason Garrett also going to get loose as he tried to check up. So the 57 fluffy Garrett not having the race he would like to have tonight. Yeah, two separate incidents happening here. And the 57. Look at this three wide. They were at one point. The 57 comes off from the same corner that turned four. What's that now? Two, three drivers, AR, that that's affected? Uh, it definitely does as i said being on the track last night i was completely in awe at coming out of turn four it's a nightmare you have to feather that pedal so gently kr and uh i think these guys are going to get it and it's still early on in the race but a lot of damage out there already just from turn four
Uh, I don't know. I think so. Yeah, yeah, they're definitely not on. I mean, the blinkers are working, but there's not a single headlight on in the front of that thing. I'm double checking right now, and uh, it's yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, KR. It's that's not working. No headlights. <laughs> What a restart, <laughs> Phil. But again, here comes Matt McLean in the 88 down low on the inside. Looking for second spot is the 88. They're side by side for second place going into three and four. Joe Schaefer is a man on a mission trying to find the front end and right now he's doing it he's got matt mclean to the high side as schaefer is looking low at the line and it was matt mclean by an inch He had a little help, KR. Yeah, Garrett right now has been involved, unfortunately, uh, in three cautions so far. But, uh, man, not having the night he, he wanted at all. Garrett is down on pit road and trying to get service down to his number 57. Yeah, well, let's go back a little bit further in the field, KR, because not that long ago, Ryan Nolan had spun himself around. No damage to the 87, but boy, did he lose a lot of track position. Had to restart at the tail end of the field. Now, just one spot away from Todd Sargent for that championship run. The 87 coming through the field quickly. It sure is and here I am I've got a smile on my face I'm watching this race and I'm I'm loving every minute of it yes there have been some cautions but you know what North Wilkesboro is not the easiest track and if these guys haven't had substantial practice on it I don't expect them to get this right off here we are lap 40 we've got 110 laps to go before we get to the end many things can change and I'm sure they will
he's so good he hasn't lost one yet hacker out front but this time joe schaefer jr has been able to hold on to the rear bumper a little bit so aj uh, excuse me so brian hacker gonna feel a little pressure for the first time this race Well, I'll tell you a little secret, Kara. I don't know if you've run this track or not, but through one and two, you actually do want to stay just a little bit higher. Being down in that very low line actually will tear apart that right front tire. So Hacker's actually doing the right thing as we're under caution one more time. Looks like this time it's going to be the one of Stephen Page. Oh. Yeah, and I don't think that was anybody's fault between Lambert or Stephen Page. Uh, that was just racing, and uh, there's a little bit of a checkup. Nobody kind of got the memo, but certainly Andy Lambert, the back end of that car, has seen better days. That's the second time somebody has been uh, a little too close to that back bumper. yeah i mean everybody's got to go and if you haven't won you need to win that's number one if you're racing for a championship well yeah you gotta go look third and fourth came in separated by one point here tonight there's a lot of stuff going on and speaking of that separation of one point right now we were talking about ryan nolan at the end of the last caution kr right now ryan nolan sitting in seventh spot todd Sargent back to ninth Ryan Nolan trying to wrap this one up and put a bow on it. Ricky Brandon checking in on the YouTube chat, cheering for Todd Sargent. Todd does have a little bit of work here, and, you know, Todd's got to be a little bit worried now. Todd has been solidly in 10th spot or around there. Ryan Nolan has come from the back of the field and starting to work his way forward. So what does the 42 have for the 87? He's got to find something. Look, he, he mentioned at the top of the at the sh of the show, KR, that short tracks really aren't his thing. But to be a championship driver, you know it as well as I. You've got to be able to race those short tracks along with those long tracks. And uh, right now, look, they're bumper to bumper on this restart. And if Todd Sargent can at least stay there, he's got at least some control over his future. So once again, Brian Hacker and the six of Joe Schaefer on the front row for this restart. Matt McLean, Andrew Hill. It's a repeat of the previous restart. Here we go once again. And Brian Hacker gets it done on this restart. Goes into turn one unchallenged, but Matt McLean maybe has something for Joe Schaefer. Yeah, McLean again battling hard on the inside, but can't quite get this. Schaefer closes the door. Now here comes Andrew Hill on the outside. Hill looking to try and break into the top three for the first time tonight in his 07. Andrew Hill 
door to door now with Matt McLean as they go down the back stretch. Andrew Hill in the three and four has that up, up lane and KR if he comes out of this corner well he might be okay. Matt McLean a little bit of a wiggle off of turn number four but Hill has that high side. He's got his car wound up and he is almost all the way in the third spot. He has the 88 cleared but McLean gets a good run on the bottom and says not yet man. But Andrew Hill says, hey, this high side has all the momentum. And Andrew Hill in the 07 takes over third place. And behind McLean, it's Aaron Maynard of Maynard Motorsports here in Vermont. The 46 in the top five, up seven spots, trying for more. Right now, content holding on to that top five start. Don't look now, but the 87 of Ryan Nolan to the inside of the 20 of Justin McDuff. Ryan Nolan trying to regain some lost ground after his self spin coming off a of turn number four. The 87 machine knows what he has to get done here and he is doing everything he can to get back to the front of this field. Oh, well, we've got a slow driver on the field. It came out of nowhere. Andy Lambert as everybody gets around him cleanly. But uh, the 20 and the 87 give up their battle for just a second as they go nose to tail after going around Andy Lambert's slow car on the track. 19 cars started this race and currently we have 15 cars on the lead lap. The 98 of Chris Stump, the last car on the lead lap. He's reattached his front bumper and getting back out there and after it, but he finds himself down the running order so can Chris Stump find a way to gain some speed here and make it into this fight? Top five battle. It is the 07 of Andrew Hill to the inside. Aaron Maynard. Maynard on the inside looking pretty strong right now about uh, a third of the way through this race. And right behind him, of course, it's the 87 of Ryan Nolan. Nolan looking to try and win the championship here tonight. Let's check in on Todd Sargent, who came into the tonight four points behind Ryan Nolan. Right now being scored in 12th spot, but Mike Holtzclaw looking to try and go around him on the outside. Can't quite do it, almost contacted. Todd Sargent maybe setting his car uh, on a pace for a long run here. That 42 machine not really working his way through the field. He's fallen back just a little bit. Ryan Nolan, a man on the mission, trying to work his way forward. Ryan Nolan, oh as he battles boy. with the 80 of Aaron Maynard in the 46, but Maynard has spun off to the inside lane and Aaron Maynard not triggering a caution as he was down below the racing line. Yeah, and he's able to get back out on track and keep going, but Maynard loses a ton of positions and time on track meanwhile up front for the race lead joe schaefer jr hard to the inside hacker goes sideways coming out of turn four into turns one and two they are side by side going on to the back stretch for the first time tonight brian hacker has a contender to his inside joe schaefer saying i want to win this one and he takes over the race lead joe schaefer leads that lap in the six. Schaefer has been unbelievable tonight. Here he is up 12 spots to take over the race lead from Brian Hacker. And for the first time tonight, we do have a new race leader. It's the six of Joe Schaefer Jr. Brian Hacker, and Matt McLean round out the top three. So as Schaefer, who has gained 12 spots, like you mentioned here tonight, pulls his six machine out in front and now he has that clean air he has full advantage of hitting whatever line he chooses brian hacker in a new position here finding himself in second spot trying to chase back down the six what does brian hacker have in store well right now hacker seems to have some handling difficulties as i just watched him turn right around the corner kr and you know what that means it means a loose race car and he's trying to catch it through the middle of the corner yeah that 11 machine now finds himself trying to manage his tires as we're creeping up on the halfway point the 11 of hacker in second place for the first time here tonight 
Joe Schaefer out in front leading this thing. And man, I'll tell you what, Chris, this race has been a, um, well, there's been action all over this track. I haven't had a chance to catch my breath yet. Yeah, it, it's been nonstop action and nonstop uh, just craziness here on the track. And Ryan Nolan now finds himself behind the 07 of Andrew Hill. Ryan Nolan in the top five one more time. So he's only got a couple of positions to make up to uh, find where he started in third spot here tonight. But uh, another guy to look at. How about AJ Hamill? Hamill in the 18 working the inside of Justin McDuff right now. Remember AJ Hamill battling it out for a third spot here in the point standings after tonight. His closest competition, Al Smith Jr., two spots behind him. That's the yellow car that's crossing the start finish line right now, heading into turns one and two. AJ Hamill finding himself in seventh spot as Ryan Nolan clears the 20 of Justin McDuff. McDuff. One of the drivers who is capable of winning anytime he shows up somewhere, finding himself in sixth spot. But you mentioned Al Smith. Right now, he is riding around in ninth. And that paint scheme that the 96 of Al Smith has, that is an original paint scheme for Al Smith. He said, hey, we're going to North Wilkesboro. I want to have a paint scheme that I had that was a throwback for me. So he slapped this one on. And I'll tell you what, that 96 looking sharp as far as paints go here tonight. Yeah, and while we were talking, there was a little bit of a self spin that happened with Stephen Page. Page now on pit road, uh, looking to get some repairs done. So Stephen Page way back in 17th spot. Up front though, it is Joe Schaefer and he has opened up a huge gap. The biggest gap of the night so far, KR 2.1 seconds. Joe Schaefer does have a big gap, but I want, do want to take a moment to talk about another driver who is working his way through the field as the two of Brett Bartels comes off sideways off at turn number four. Brett started deep in this field, finding himself in eighth spot. That two machine maybe has a little bit of something to prove here tonight as the 96 of Al Smith looking to his inside. Al Smith goes a pillar to a pillar with the two of Brett Bartles and now Al Smith trying to get around still can't do it though Bartles was way up high and almost contacted the wall Smith still couldn't make the the pass happen but they are edging closer and closer to the 18 and that's exactly what Al Smith wants to do. Speaking of the 18, he's in a three car battle with the 20 and the 07. That's Justin McDuff right now. McDuff holding on to fifth spot. The sixth place position going to Andrew Hill is Andrew Hill getting way up to the top side. The 18 of AJ Hamill down on the bottom here. These three cars, the 20, the 07 and the 18 have been going at it almost three wide at times. And now it looks like McDuff going to win this short little battle here between these three. Yeah, but in that racing, here comes Brett Bartles and Al Smith Jr. They are catching and they are right on the back bumper. They also brought along another car that uh, maybe we haven't talked about quite enough. How about that? The 95, Charlie Widener. Widener in the Dodge starting to make things happen. Who would have thunk that a Dodge could even get rolling but Charlie Widener in that 95 machine has found a way to put himself right now in the top 10. He's got a hornet's nest in front of him. That 95 got to pick his lane carefully here as he tries to take a peek to the inside of the two of Brett Bartels. Yeah, he decides against it and goes to the outside. And honestly, that's the way to save tires, but uh, we'll see what happens here as we go forward. Ahead of them, it's a two by two uh, situation for Al Smith Jr. Brett Bartles and just ahead of them, AJ Hamill. So Hamill going to start feeling some pressure behind. Hamill trying to get to the back bumper of the 07 of Andrew Hill. All of this going on. We got five cars right here in a intense battle. Joe Schaefer, though, he said, see you all later. I'm going to check out on this field as the six of Joe Schaefer finds himself now four seconds ahead of Brian Hacker. I mean, just gone. <laughs> Unbelievable. Schaefer, you, 
when you see somebody like this you know they just want to win and at this point he's got a nice nice enough gap kr where he can actually settle it down just a little bit take a breath and say okay where am i at where are my tires at he can actually look at them and say okay maybe the right's a little warm let's cool it down all kinds of things for your race leader to be able to do with that kind of lead i can tell you from personal experience when you have a straightaway lead you start thinking about hey i need to conserve my equipment i know we got a few laps left in this thing let's back it down just a hair make sure i have something for the end of this race as we look out the back of the six of joe schaefer you can see he has a straightaway lead and i can tell you joe knows that information he knows how far behind brian hacker is and he also knows he has the opportunity to take this time and really just run his line run his pace and not worry about anyone behind him it's a nice feeling to have and for brian hacker unfortunately he knows what he had at the beginning of this race he had a very very fast car set up for that short run unfortunately now we have kind of found our pace kr and we have been into a long long green flag run as we go under caution we go under caution i think the 96 of al smith jr is the one who triggered it he got loose coming off a of turn number two tried to gather it in but caught himself in the grass we know the grass versus asphalt doesn't offer the same amount of grip but the 96 again uh well i say again but i mean for the first time he has found himself sideways on this track and worse yet they are is he is behind the pace truck as here we go pit stops are happening here on lap number 89 this could change everything kr because we know hacker had a very fast car on those fresh tires and nobody was really able to touch him but the other thing here is it's been a little while since we started side by side so all kinds of things are getting ready to change so everyone coming in for tires a couple drivers taking two maybe four tires here fuel and everyone down and away and it looked like Joe Schaefer won that race off of pit lane. So yeah, you're right. The 96 of Al Smith is behind the pace truck. The 98 of Chris Stump did not come down pit road. Right now he is being scored as the race leader, but the first car off of pit lane was the six of Joe Schaefer. So depending on what the 96 and the 98 do here, we could see new drivers at the front for this restart. All right, so lights are on the Silverado, which while Chris is away, I'm going to take a moment to say that Chevy Silverado has more power than a Ford could ever muster. And uh, anything else good about a Chevy versus Ford, uh, go ahead and, and uh, as people watching in YouTube, uh, just go ahead and feel free to bash the Fords in YouTube chat. Um, I won't ban you. Chris might, but I won't. So uh, we won't tell him you said that. But Chris Stump in the 98 out in front of this field. He is finally going to pull his machine on the pit road. That will once again give the lead to the six of Joe Schaefer. As Al Smith gets the wave around past the pace truck, the lights have gone out. So Schaefer for the first time going to have control of this field on the restart. Brian Hacker for the first time is going to have to react to another car how will this shake down matt mcclain finding himself on the inside of row number two on his outside the 87 of ryan nolan our championship contender right where he needs to be then it's justin mcduff and andrew hill as joe schaefer grabs some throttle and gets back into this one 
down to turns one and two and Schaefer picking up right where he left off for this caution flag already opening up a gap on Brian Hacker a half a second now between first and second in a battle wages on for third spot it is Ryan Nolan Matt McLean Nolan right now with just about an inch or two ahead and Nolan off oh boy it looks like he might have touched the wall but he came off okay the 87 takes over third spot Ryan Nolan your points leader coming into tonight holds on to third Matt McLean settling in the fourth spot behind the 87 and Ryan Nolan right behind him is Andrew Hill in that 07 machine then it's the 20 of Justin McDuff and the 95 of Charlie Widener sitting in seventh spot Charlie in that uh, well let's just call it the Viper paint scheme in that 95 machine and I'll tell you what Charlie nothing to lose here and everything to gain he has a good run going in that 95 and you know KR sometimes when things go bad they go really really bad and for Al Smith Jr. this is not a, a good night right now as he was the one that brought out the last caution now comes out of turn four he went loose went sideways and lost a bunch Ooh. of time once again contact between Al Smith and Andy Lambert as they came off a of turn number two that is going to bring out the caution one more time two quick cautions here we'll take another look at this one Al Smith in front of Andy Lambert but as they worked their way off a of turn number two Lambert had a good run and Al Smith just did not know he was there caution flag flying once again there's nothing worse than the feeling that Andy Lambert has in the pit of his stomach right now. Al Smith, a good friend, and around Al Smith went. You know that Andy Lambert feels absolutely horrible about that one. All right, guys, we're going to take a quick break. No one go anywhere. We'll be right back after this. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, as the drivers have started to stack up two by two, nose to tail. Lights have gone out on our Chevy Silverado pace truck. Once again, at the front, it's Joe Schaefer and Brian Hacker. And Chris, what's in store here as we are on the downhill side of our laps? Well, we still have relatively fresh tires, KR, so uh, 
Anything can happen as the pace car drops down. Schaefer with a big restart this time. I mean huge. Four tenths of a second before he gets to turn one and two. If, and man, oh man. If, look at the outside. Matt McLean trying to get around Ryan Nolan. He does it. Nolan goes back to fourth spot. Andrew Hill in fifth. McDuff in sixth on the outside. This race is far from over. Andrew Hill in the 07 now trying to figure out if he wants to stay on the inside line of Ryan Nolan. But Justin McDuff working that outside lane. McDuff might have something for the 07. Yeah, McDuff not giving him an option. As right now, Hill is stuck down to that inside. And two, three, and four. Yeah, that's where you want to be. Group one, two, maybe not so much. Right now, it is the 20 of McDuff. He's starting to surrender a little bit of time now to the 07 of Andrew Hill. Then they battle back. It is side by side action. Look at Want to give a shout out to Connor checking in on YouTube chat as Connor joins this race here. Connor, you have missed a heck of a battle from the beginning of this thing. Right now, we are watching Justin McDuff and Andrew Hill duke it out. Joe Schaefer has gained 12 spots since the drop of the green flag here tonight to be our race leader. And that six machine out in front of Brian Hacker in the 11. Hacker was our early race leader but since Joe Schaefer got a sniff of the race lead, he has said, I like this here. It smells nice. Yeah, he is incredible here in the fresh air and has taken over this race. They are only 40 laps ago as Schaefer crosses the start finish line, heading into turns one and two. Brian Hacker, five tenths of a second behind. Those new tires not really doing what Hacker wanted. Not only that, but the 88 of Matt McLean trying to put himself into a top three position in the championship finish. Matt McLean has to gain a ton of ground on AJ Hamill and Al Smith. Right now, Al Smith down one lap in 13th spot, but AJ Hamill sitting in eighth as Matt McLean finds himself in third. Could we see this 88 upset AJ Hamill and Al Smith and be that third position finish here in the championship battle? Well, he's got a long way to go to try and get there on point. Something really bad would have to happen. Don't see that happening right now as uh, these drivers have kind of settled in once again. Here we are on lap 114. Ooh, Joe Brett Martell sideways later. in the two. He's going to go through the grass. The yellow flag is going to come out as the two goes for a self spin. Did not mean to cut you off, but man, that two got sideways, caught it before he hit anything. And good recovery out of the two car and able to stay off the wall. So no damage to Brett Bartles number two, but uh, here we are under caution one more time. As the two lost it through the corner, gathered it back in. Looks like he was able to avoid hitting anything there as we check this replay. But again, the yellow flag going to come out and another quick caution here. We have seen at North Wilkesboro cautions have bred cautions and Joe Schaefer in the six has got to be saying, man, I got another restart. Brian Hacker, however, is saying, man, I got another restart. Well, the real winner out of this one, KR, this caution flag is going to be Al Smith Jr. in the 96, who was down one lap, now going to find himself back on the lead lap. And uh, look, he's he's battling for a third spot finish in the championship here tonight in the Coffee Cup Nitro Series Coach's Corner Breakfast Blend 150. He's got a long way to go, and he's got a lot of damage on the front end of that car. Certainly, that's not going to help. Well, Chris, I'll tell you what, the speeds here at North Wilkesboro, not something where you are super aero dependent. I will say damage is never good, but on a short track like this, you can have some damage and still be competitive. Yeah, I'm thinking he probably knocked out his toe a little bit though, KR, and you know, that's something that a, a good driver like Al Smith Jr. can kind of compensate for, but 
what you can't compensate for is the tire wear it is going to wear those tires a little bit quicker can al smith hold on to that 96 and try and catch aj hamill let's remember those two cars are battling out for third spot here in the points championship separated by just one point coming into tonight aj hamill in his number 18 runs in seventh spot al smith jr in his 96 running in 13th so hamill right now with a decisive victory so far here tonight I'll tell you what, this 88 of Matt McLean really has an impressive run going so far. He finds himself in third spot right now. Ryan Nolan behind him with Justin McDuff on his rear bumper for this restart. But Matt McLean, one of those drivers, uh, I, I mentioned it a little bit. He, he could gain on AJ Hamill and Al Smith here if they continue to have problems he is currently in front of them on the track but maybe not enough spots to make a difference as we get ready to go green flag racing one more time yeah pace truck ready to come down pit road one more time joe schaefer jr ready to hit that go pedal and he hits it hard and he hits it fast the 06 takes off heading into turns one and two again with about a three tenths of a second lead but Matt McLean to the inside of Brian Hacker. McLean looking for something. Can't quite get there. Here comes the 87 to his outside. Matt oh, McLean, McLean with a big wiggle. Big wiggle for Matt McLean. That might cost him a spot as Ryan Nolan has the high side. Got that momentum going. He's got it rolling now. And I'll tell you what. Matt McLean all over that inside lane, but Ryan Nolan gonna have the spot as McLean a little bit loose coming off at turn four. That's gonna give Andrew Hill the chance he needs to take over that spot. Yeah, McLean two times in a row coming off from four gives it a wiggle from the rear end being loose and that has cost him a couple of spots. Now the 07 takes advantage. Andrew Hill takes over that four spot at the line. Well, we the 95 the of Charlie Widener going to get into the wall. No caution. The 95 gets rolling once again, but he got loose and out of shape. Charlie Widener in that 95 machine gets back out there, gets back after it, but he got loose, spun the tires, a whole lot of smoke, but no yellow flag for the 95. Al Smith Jr., the driver of the 96, damage on both the front end, uh, right side and left side, a little damage on the rear, will not give up. He is working the outside of the 22, Mike Holtzclaw, and Al Smith Jr. makes that pass happen. He gets one spot closer to A.J. Hamill. So as Al Smith gets to the back bumper of the two of Brett Bartles. He is trying to track down AJ Hamill, who is in seventh spot right now. Al finding himself in 10th, looking to the inside of the two. Can he make something happen through one and two? Can't quite get there. Coming onto the back stretch, Al Smith Jr. Takes it down to the inside one more time. Brad Bartles under attack from the inside. Al Smith Jr. in the 96 looks for a position at the line. Can't quite get there. I'll tell you what, I've been watching Al Smith for a long time here. As I've called a lot of his races, and this 96 looks determined oh. as we got one sideways. Justin Big McDuff, time. Matt McLean, all of them going around here as we have a big stack up AJ Hamill involved a whole lot has just changed here in this lap oh boy so the 88 of Matt McLean goes around Look oh, like KR. Justin McDuff maybe got into him. AJ Hamill, Todd Sargent, everyone just plowed in with nowhere to go. And huge, huge implications here. 
as we continue to look at what just happened. We go on board with Todd Sargent. As he gets in the 18, Hamill climbs his hood. And oh my goodness, the complexion of this race has taken on a whole new face. Well, not just this race, KR, but let's go ahead and admit it. It has changed the playoff or the championship completely. All of a sudden, we find the 18 sitting on pit road with Al Smith Jr., who was ahead of him before he came down pit road. So AJ Hamill, Al Smith Jr., both sitting on pit road. That was for third. Todd Sargent in the 42 car was trying for a championship here tonight. Right now, he's marred way back in 10th spot. Damage on the right front as the 18 went up and over the hood of the 42. Matt McLean, who was in the top three, going to find himself on pit road here, trying to work out some damage. Todd Sargent, a championship contender. As you mentioned right now, he's going to be scored in ninth place as McLean hits pit lane. Ryan Nolan, the person he was battling for the championship, sitting in third spot here as we are inside of 20 laps to go. And holy cow, this race has seen all kinds of chaos, calamity. And I'll tell you what, I don't have any nails left on my right hand. <laughs> well, um, you cleared your right hand. I've cleared both. I mean, look, this, this thing has been nuts from the drop of the green flag. And North Wilkesboro is just the right track to offer up that kind of racing. And here we go. We're starting to line up two by two, getting ready to go back to green. It looks like we'll have, what, 17 laps to go when we hit that green flag one more time. Joe Schaefer, Brian Hacker on the row number one. Row number two, Ryan Nolan and Andrew Hill as the green flag comes out. Joe Schaefer gets the jump he needs. And Schaefer going to lead this field again into turn number one. Ryan Nolan, though, all over the inside lane of the 11 of Brian Hacker. Nolan showing some impressive speed on the inside of turns one and two. Coming out of turn four, he has second spot. Brian Hacker trying to battle back on the outside, the 87, the 11. Going side by side onto the back stretch. The 87 takes a slight advantage through turns three and four. The 87 starts to stretch it out just a little bit. Joe Schaefer Jr., race leader, is not getting away that easily. 15 laps to go as we go on board with Andrew Hill in the 07 watching the battle between Brian Hacker and Ryan Nolan. Nolan on the inside lane. He has got to be picture perfect here as Brian Hacker has the momentum going from that high side. Watch out the inside lane coming off from turn four, the 87's nightmare as he's already had a self spin here during the race in several pre-race during the practice the 87 coming off from turn four once again hits it perfect and now has second spot ryan nolan in the 87 maybe has a nose in front of the 11 but joe schaefer has the race lead he's trying to separate himself out from this battle he wants to win this thing and he finds himself with 12 laps as andrew hill gets loose coming off of turn number four Hill that time almost made contact with the inside wall, able to save it in his 07, but not before Ryan Nolan firmly takes over second spot from Brian Hacker. Hacker, who led the first 20, 30, 40 laps or so, is now finding himself in third spot here tonight. Andrew Hill fourth. And let's go back, find Todd Sargent. Sargent running in the ninth position. How about Al Smith Jr.? He's out on track on the lead lap and he came oh the 88 gets in the wall matt mclean into the wall he is able to hold on to it coming down the front stretch across the line al smith jr running in the top 10 10th spot his closest competition aj hamill for the points here tonight is running in 12th one lap down and kr that is enough to put 
Al Smith Jr. the third spot in the points here tonight if it stays this way. Yeah, Al Smith doing a great job at recovering, but with nine laps to go, make it eight and a half as Schaefer comes onto the front stretch. Al Smith recovered in an earlier incident, AJ Hamill's incident coming very late in this race. That could cost him a third spot here in the championship battle, but Ryan Nolan finding himself in second spot with just seven laps to go now. Todd Sargent all the way down in ninth and Ryan Nolan looking like he may walk away with this championship. He's got some room between him, the race leader and third spot. Brian Hacker, Ryan Nolan could almost mail this one in from here. And that's almost what he has to do. He has to be very ginger on the brake, on the throttle. The 87 ready to win the championship race, if not tonight's race. And it looks like Joe Schaefer just starts stretching out that race lead once again, 1.15 seconds at the line. With five laps to go, the six of Joe Schaefer trying to pick up another win on the season here at North Wilkesboro and the six now looking smooth looking steady he's going to cross the line with four laps to go here at north wilkesboro this is a short track he's got maybe a minute left without a mistake to win this thing yeah with 17 seconds or 18 seconds per lap you're right kr it's going to be done very very quickly coming out of turn four now it is your race leader joe schaefer across the line to accept the three laps to go signal Schaefer in the six trying hard here not to make a mistake he's gonna get uh, the popsicle sticks as we like to hear from other commentators here on the turn three racing network but Joe Schaefer just two laps away from winning this one Ryan Nolan two laps away from winning the championship and here we are under caution KR yellow flag is out And it looks like Brian Hacker and the 07 of Andrew Hill made uh, made contact. Contact going into turn number one between the 11 and the 07. Both drivers locking it down. Aside from the contact between each other, they did not hit anything else, but it was enough to trigger a caution here. And uh, Chris. I don't know how this is going to shake down. Well, we've got a green white checker ahead of us. And man, the, this has been one of the most exciting races I've ever seen here on iRacing. And a lot of it has to do with all of the races coming up into tonight. You had points separated by four points as for the champion and second spot. For third spot, you had AJ Hamill ahead of um, Al Smith Jr. by one point. AR, it doesn't get much tighter. And then you throw North Wilkesboro into the into the mix. Anything can happen here at this little half mile track. All that being said, AJ Hamill has now gotten back on the lead lap in that 18 machine. He has a shot here at gaining some spots as we go into green white checkered mode. Can he find a way to put that hammer down and maybe be one of those dark horses to finish in the top three in points and upset Al Smith, who Al Smith has not had uh, the race he would like to have. He has gone through adversity here tonight. He has battled back as Todd Sargent's going to hit pit lane here with uh, as the field starts to form up, Todd Sargent, our championship contender on pit road. Yeah, an unfortunate night here for Todd Sargent. This track not to his liking. He mentioned that in the pre-race interviews that we had with him and Ryan Nolan, short track racing, not his thing. But right now, Todd Sargent being scored in the 12th position. And um, yeah, he's on pit road, getting some maybe last minute service to try and 
help launch himself through the field here, KR. But with three laps to go, you're talking at 18 seconds a lap. But we don't have a lot of time. No, this season is drawing to a close. The lights have gone out on the Chevy Silverado. Joe Schaefer in the six on the inside. Ryan Nolan, championship contender in the 87, has a whole lot of track position over the 42 of Todd Sargent. And we get ready to go green flag racing for what could be the last time this season. All right, here we go. Getting ready to go back to the green flag. It's going to be popsicle sticks in the air across the start finish line with three laps to go. Make it two as they cross the start finish line. The checkered flag, white flag are in the air from the flagman, and Joe Schaefer Jr. reassumes the race lead. Ryan Nolan, championship on line, finds himself in second. Brian Hacker, Andrew Hill side by side as we take the white flag final time around in this season. Can Ryan Nolan make a move on the six of Schaefer? I don't think so as Schaefer has this one going into turn number three. He's got a smooth line now comes off at of turn number four and Joe Schaefer going to win it here in the Coffee Cup Racing League Coaches Corner Breakfast Blend 150. But your race season championship is going to go to the 87 of Ryan Nolan. Yeah, congratulations once again going out to Andrew Hill. And how about Todd Sargent picking up second spot? Al Smith, third, all in your points here tonight. Joe Schaefer Jr. with the race win. Ryan Nolan second. And Andrew Hill picks up a third place finish. Man, oh man, what a race this was to cap off the season here with the Coffee Cup Racing League as Joe Schaefer wins the final race, but Ryan Nolan wins the championship. And guys, we are going to step away from the mics for a moment and set up our post race show. No one go anywhere. We'll be right back. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, as Joe Schaefer has picked up the win here tonight at North Wilkesboro. And Joe, that six machine had to battle through a lot of traffic. You gained 12 spots throughout the night to win this race here in the final race of the championship, man. Nice job. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. Uh, this isn't really a car that I drive too much, as I've probably mentioned several times. Uh, I, I like running the short tracks though and uh, apparently i'm good on old tires so starting for, starting that far back that uh had that long green flag run in the middle that really benefited benefited me so yeah it was a little touch and go at the end but man i i, I enjoy running this car well joe that six machine had a well uh i'm, I'm just gonna say it, an epic run here tonight and uh, that six puts it in victory lane here tonight. Well done. Well done. Thank you. <laughs> so epic the media on the side of that six machine. Little play on words. But Joe, congratulations on the race win. Thank you. Uh, congrats to uh, Ryan Nolan winning the championship. I think I think he won it. Um, 
Yeah, he's real strong on the on those mile and a half, and I know that's probably where he he stole a bunch of points. And if you can run well on the short tracks, I guess that uh that explains why he's the champion. All right, Joe. Final time this season here in the Coffee Cup Racing League. Any shout outs or thank yous you'd like to give? I thank Drew Crybeck with Epic Media, uh, the Posse, and uh, Stan Bragg tonight for uh, helping me out spotting and stuff. All right, there you go. Joe Schaefer, your race winner here tonight. And Chris, what do you say we take a moment and once again talk to AJ Hamill, our league owner, league admin, league whatever he is and chris <laughs> uh we'll let you talk to him well the 18 car had a pretty good shot at taking third spot in the points championship tonight but a late race incident that actually found you uh up and on the hood of another car aj seemed to spell your uh, demise here tonight as you ended up finishing in 10th spot but even still you put that to the side as a league owner you have got to be proud of this race. I, well, um, <laughs> you got to separate them. <laughs> no, not for me. I, I, I kind of want a couple less yellows, uh, but there were some good runs in there and there was a heck of a lot of good action uh, when we weren't self spinning ourselves out. So I'm pretty proud of that. Um, tried to mind my own business. Al put himself in trouble and then trouble found me. And, what can you do? You know, retrospect should have dove low, but making split second decisions. It's still top 10, I guess. Yeah, a top 10 finish. And really, that's what you had. It, look, you literally went up and over a car. What <laughs> else can you do? Go back and watch that. <laughs> you know, uh, listen, AJ, it's been a great season, and I can't thank you enough for inviting Turn 3 Racing Network over to help broadcast the final several races here and uh man it's been a, a very good time uh, if you had to talk to and actually he's in the channel so um i'm gonna actually let you i'm gonna, I'm gonna get your admin hat back on because you have your second place finisher here tonight but more importantly your championship winner yeah i just want to virtually present the virtual inaugural coffee cup trophy uh to my buddy Ryan Nolan, um, glad I went to a, a good friend. I mean, would have been happy for Todd too. I just got to sound wrong, but also happy. Uh, fellow displaced Vermonter like myself, uh, came home and put on a good show, recovered from an early spin, uh, but charged back up and here's a giant to trophy, Ryan. Thanks, Aegis. Virtual trophy looks pretty sweet. I'm definitely uh, very happy to accept it. Um, it was a, definitely a very uh, eventful race. I don't know why I spun out on the inside. It was very difficult. I think obviously everyone <laughs> else had those issues too, but yeah, we were able to keep it off the wall and kind of stay clean uh, coming back up through and um, kind of find ourselves in the top three um, at the end there. And I don't know if I had, I don't, well, I definitely know I didn't have anything for Joe, but um, yeah, I was just pretty happy that we came home with a top three and um, also came home with a championship. It was, it's been a lot of fun this year. Back to you, Chris. No, no, not to me. Oh, I'm gonna throw it right over to KR. Oh, all right. Just a final congrats to uh, Ryan and, and Joe for winning the race. And thanks to you two one more time. All right, so AJ Hamill stepping out, but uh, Ryan, a championship here in this coffee cup racing league ryan you had to get it done here tonight and a self spin early in the race tell me uh kind of how much that set you back how much you put your elbows up and got after it as aj hamill comes in and gives you a congratulatory kiss yeah i thought i was in trouble there i i knew that I got kind of towards the back. There was, there was a lot more action going on. And I was just trying to uh, stay out of the, the carnage. But uh, it was actually a fairly clean race. I was looking ahead, just trying to make sure I, there was spins. I'd avoid it. And it all just kind of worked out and filtered through and filtered us right up into the top 10. And 
Um, just a, yeah, a good spot for us. And it's kind of keeping an eye on where Todd was, trying to make sure I was within distance of him. And that was kind of the, the first goal. And then the second goal was trying to win the race. And I was trying at the end, but just, I just didn't have enough. Um, I do want to thank AJ again for playing on this series. It's been, it's been a lot of fun this year. Um, these cars are fun. The groups of guys that are racing in this are, are, are good and clean and fast, so that's that's nice. And um, of course, you guys for broadcasting, um, always good broadcasts. And my parents, I know they're watching right now. They always enjoy it, so we appreciate it. Well, Ryan, on behalf of everyone here on the Turn 3 Racing Network, we want to congratulate you on a season-long battle coming out on top of this championship battle you maybe didn't win every battle but you have won the war here tonight man congratulations thank you so much that is ryan nolan your coffee cup racing league champion and chris he got it done here tonight yeah, he sure did and now he is uh well <laughs> he's having a little fun he's burning it down he's breaking it up uh, the post-race inspection isn't going to show much no that car isn't going to have a lot left in post-race inspection and who could blame him a season-long battle tear that car down man but uh chris as for the coffee cup racing league this season is done and over with so while we watch this 87 tear it up why don't you sign us off for the final time here tonight? Well, for everybody here at the Turn 3 Racing Network, it's been an absolute pleasure bringing you the Coffee Cup Nitro Series. And tonight, we had the Coach's Corner Breakfast Blend 150 here at Nor North Wilkesboro. And uh, congratulations goes out to Ryan Nolan, your points winner. It goes out to Todd Sargent, who came home in second spot, and Al Smith Jr., comes home with a third place overall here this season. Hey, AR, it's been a blast, but I love working with you. You know that. And until next time, ladies and gentlemen, we will see you later.